Well, what a game that was, a 10-goal thriller, and one million people tuning in on YouTube to watch those highlights. Let's hope today's game at Boxing Day is going to be a great game as well. I'm now joined by under-18 manager Sean Wood and midfielder Josh Keyes. Woody, it's been a very busy schedule for the guys this season and also now into the fourth round of the FA Youth Cup. What was it like working with these guys? Yeah, it's a challenge. Um, this season so far, they, they, they've been very good on and off the pitch. Um, we, we've been, we're doing well in the league, in the Youth Alliance League. Um, unfortunately, we lost on penalties in the Youth Alliance Cup in the semi-final. And now, obviously, we've we've progressed to round four of the FA Youth Cup, which is an exciting tie against Man United at home at the county ground. Yeah, really big congrats on that. And hopefully it'll be an amazing game to see. So this season, you had many first team appearances. What impact do you think that has on the young guys to be in and around the first team? Yeah, it's obviously a great experience for all of our young players to be around the first team environment. That's their next step, their next challenge. Um, fortunately, this year with the small first team squad, a lot of our younger players have had the opportunity to be around the first team. There's been four Football League debuts, which is big for all of our staff past and present that have been involved in their youth development. Uh, Miles Aboda at Bradford, um, Sonny and Jackson at Accrington and Fletcher at Colchester. Um, so it's massive for us as an academy and something we're striving towards. More and more league debuts, more and more involvement with the first team if we can. Yeah, absolutely. What a delight to see. So, Josh, your goal involvements have had a massive impact and therefore you guys have reached the fourth round of the FA Youth Cup. What is it like being under the leadership of Woody? Are you enjoying it? And just be careful, he is right here. <laughs> yeah, it's been a good start to the season. I feel like everyone's a lot a lot more gelled this year and Woody's really put in some rules to us for us and the team morale and everything. The thoughts definitely improved from last year. Yeah, do you think discipline plays a huge impact in how you gel on the on and off the pitch? Yeah, definitely. I know some boys don't like the way that it is because of the discipline, but the stuff we need to learn and it helps us become better players on the pitch and off the pitch as well. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely great skills to learn as you're young and how you grow. So a great performance, Luton Town. What a fantastic game that was. What was the message going into that game and how proud were you of the boys? Obviously, massively proud of their achievement um, to to keep a clean sheet away at Luton, who have scored in every game this season, was a real, real big thing for us as a as, an, as a group. Um, the big message was everybody to produce what they normally do, um, what their super strength is. If we come together as a group, and all the things that we have set in place on and off the pitch on nights like that, you can just see them them come shining through. Um, and and thankfully, on, on on the day, everything sort of went our way. Uh, we actually could have probably got three or four on, on the night. Um, and the most important thing was to, to get through to round four. Yeah, absolutely. And just building on that momentum now and seeing what happens, you know, when you play United here at the county ground. So with that coming up in January, what are your feelings at the moment for that game? Obviously excited. Excited for the players, first and foremost, is to make sure that they have a, an opportunity and experience at the county ground again. Um, we like playing here. Um, we look forward to as many supporters coming to the game as possible. Um, it will be a very, very tough game. They're, they're 10 league games, 10 wins. Um, so we know that it, we're going to be up against it. We'll do a lot of work in the next two weeks when we return after Christmas. Um, we'll be prepared as best we can and we'll, we'll give it everything we can to try and put in for a good performance and, and see where we can get to. Yeah, so knuckling down after Christmas, hey? Yeah, well, I've got, got the boys in uh, on the 28th and 29th as a Christmas camp. So hopefully we can uh, run that Christmas turkey off and then uh, we'll return after Christmas ready and prepare for the league and the FA Youth Cup. Amazing. We love to hear that. Straight off the bat, we're, off and we're, we're back in training. So, Josh, you played at the county ground against Wimborne this, uh, this season and now you have the opportunity to do that with United. For you guys as players and for yourself, what is it like having that opportunity to play for the fans here? Yeah, it's amazing. Like I've I've been at Swindon a long time and to get to get to play on the county ground more than once this season is a dream come true. I'm just looking forward to it really. And have you got family friends gonna come and watch? Yeah, loads of them. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's what we wanna see. We wanna see all you guys come here Tuesday the sixteenth of January to watch these guys play 
Manchester United. So if you can go online and find out all the information you need and grab those tickets. So we want to see as many supporters as we can and cheer these guys on. So thank you so much, Sean and Josh, for joining me today. We wish you the best of luck as you play Manchester United on the 16th of January. So let's remind ourselves what the performance was like when they led into the fourth round of the FAU Cup at Kenilworth Road. And he's, Harry Child's got a battle on his hand down this uh, right-hand side for Luton and he cuts inside here, the number two. It's great play from him and he has a shot and it's straight at Finn Adams who blocks it with his head and another block from Finn to get the ball away there. Great defending from the young man. Again, the referee keeping an eye on a congested penalty area for Swindon Town here, ahead of this corner coming in. And it's an outswinger into the number nine, and it's a great save from Redmond Evans. So, corner's going to come in here. Straight onto the head of the uh, number nine, who's causing some problems in that penalty area, and another good save from uh, Redmond Evans. And Swindon managed to get the ball out of the box and stop the pressure for now, but Luton keep coming. And a lovely ball's played through to their number 11, but he's standing in an offside position. And Jackson Brown just going to pick up the ball again, and he's going to push forward past Luton Town. Harry Chard on the ball here. Goes to cut inside and comes outside. Plays the ball into Botan, who's turned his man to number five, and he's in the box here. He's going forward, and he's tripped, and it's a penalty for Swindon Town. Great move there, Harry Char plays the ball inside to Botan Amin. He gets past one man with a beautiful turn. He drives into the box and the man has tripped the Swindon Town player and it's a penalty to Swindon Town. Fletcher Hubbard steps up and it's saved there by the Luton Town keeper. It isn't the best of penalties from Fletcher. I've seen him take better and I've seen him strike the ball better, but you can't deny it's a great save there from the Luton Town goalkeeper. He goes the right way and he saves the ball with his feet. So it's still nil-nil here at Kenilworth Road. Plays it into Botan Amin, who shrugs off the Luton Town number six there. We switch the play over to Harry Chard here, who's going to play it forward to Fletcher Hubbard. Harry Chard's through here. A lovely ball from Fletcher. He plays it, and it's a great save from the Luton Town keeper. Totally unmarked there, Harry Chard. It's great vision. But another great save from the Luton Town keeper, who's having a good game so far with that penalty save and that save there. And Redmond's coming for this one. And Luton Town not happy here. An opportunity for Swindon here to get the ball in the box here with potentially the last... Uh, Attacking phase of the half, the ball in swinger, and it's a great save from the keeper, and it's gone in there. It's Sonny Hart this celebrating. I'm not sure it come off Sonny Hart. It looked like uh, the Luton Town goalkeeper there, Kai Hockey, come for the ball, and it's ended up in the back of Luton Town's net. Like I said there, it was Sonny Hart that was celebrating, but I'm not sure it come off the Swindon Town man, but it's 1-0 Swindon Town. A mix up there in the uh, midfield for Luton Town and Connor Britchford Stanley can come through with the ball here. He cuts in on that left foot that we saw against Oldershot. Botan Amin with a shot and it's another good save by the Luton Town keeper. And number three pursuing down the left hand side there up against Sonny Hart. Turns one way, turns the other and puts the ball across and it's gone into their number 11. Takes a shot, it's a great save from Redmond Evans. Charging down that left hand side, plays the ball in behind there looking for Botan. Only as far as the Luton Town defender and it's not a great clearance from uh, Kai Hockey there. Josh Keyes turns his man, breaks into the box. It's a shot and it's a splendid goal from Josh Keyes there. He puts Swindon 2-0 up. He turns his man perfectly on the edge of the 18-yard box and he toe pokes it into the far right-hand corner, catching the Luton Town goalkeeper out there. It's a splendid goal. Swindon double their advantage. 2-0 Swindon. Referee waves play on there. And Luton play a ball here through to their captain, the number two, who cuts it back to the number 11 here. He's under pressure. He plays it off to the number seven, who takes a shot at goal. And it's easy for Redmond Evans to gather. 
They play in their ball to the number nine here, who tumbles over under the challenge of uh, Joel McGregor. The Luton Town bench not happy with that, and Botan Amin's going to come away with the ball. He shoots, oh, looking for that top corner, and it's hit the crossbar. I'm not really sure what happened there, but it's a it's a great it's a great shot initially from Botan, and I think it just catches the keeper out because it hits the crossbar. Bounces back off and, and the ball just seems to go up in the air and and the keeper and I think his own defender have got to come in together here with both physios coming on to uh, to give medical attention to both and Miles just can't put the rebound in the net. It goes over the top of the crossbar so it remains 2-0 Swindon here. And there it is, the final whistle for Swindon Town. It's a great 2-0 victory here for Swindon with goals from Sonny Hart and from Josh Keys, they progressed to round four of the FA Youth Cup.